Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to feed the birds we go. <coughs> the refilled the fat ball holders and I've changed the seed feeders because seed feeders were plastic so I've changed them for nut feeders the nut feeders are actually metal so they shouldn't be affected by the squirrels too obviously the squirrels still try and get the nuts but um, the feeder I'll show you one of the feeders this is one of the seed feeders as you can see it's absolutely knackered you can't use that at all so I've changed them for nut holders so and I put two out there's one there I've got a fat ball holder there and another nut holder up there so I've got one two three and there's another fat ball holder down there and I have a fat ball holder around here. I'm going to leave them a couple of days, come back, refill them, hopefully Sunday. I'm going to fetch my hide out and I'm going to have a few errors in my hide. Well, I've come out today with the hide and I'm just about to fill the the seed feed, well the, the fat ball feeders and the nut feeders. Um, I'm just going to set up the hide here, which it's it's a night hawk chair hide. <coughs> I brought my uh, Canon 7D Mark II. Oh, I've had a good walk. Obviously, I've got to carry the stuff here, so I'm I'm a bit out of breath, but this is what we have to do. It's just just got light. I'm hoping that it gets a little bit brighter so I can lower my ISO. But uh, obviously it is what it is. Find somewhere that is going to be comfortable. That uh, the seed feeders are right behind you. I've got three out. I keep saying seed feeders, but it's actually fat ball and, and nut feeders. There's one, two, three there, one further down there, and one round the back of the tree here. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty level. <coughs> It's going to be about right. Actually, a little bit lower. Do, 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 do. Do, do. <coughs> uh, 
<coughs> Trying to get set up in head as quick as I can. <coughs> get me out of the way of the birds. It'd have been better if I came in the dark, but obviously <sighs> that'll mean getting up earlier. <laughs> uh, <coughs> da -da Go a little bit lower, I can always raise it slightly with the centre cord when I'm in the hide. Mm -hmm. I want uh, full movement. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Just got to get out now. Right. Uh. Gloves and hat in case it gets too cold in there. Move all the stuff around the back of the tree so it's out the way and hid. Now, oh. you've got to make sure it's comfortable in its level, otherwise, it, it's just not uh, nice. my camera <laughs> basically I've also got a bit of scrim net because when you open the big opening it does actually have quite a large window which obviously they can see through so I've got a bit of a scrim net which I attach I've added this scrim net. I've just used Velcro to put it on. Uh, it just gives a little bit more uh, screening because it's quite a big opening at the front of the net. Uh, I've got my camera set up and I've got me, there's already been a great tit on the nuts. So, I'm going to keep quiet now, I'm going to switch off. Uh, if I get some decent pictures, I'll share them with you. But as you can see, it is quite a good view. But you do need the net to, uh, to hide yourself. So anybody who gets one of these, I would, I would suggest getting the net. There is a smaller opening, but you need a bigger opening so you can actually see
Well, we've been here a couple of hours now, and although we haven't seen a, a vast variety, we have actually got some good footage, hopefully, of uh, Nuthatch, which I'll show now. it and blue tit there has been a robin but i didn't manage to get any footage of that and there was a jay which flew through which obviously i haven't got a footage of because it flew through too quick um other than that um i'm, I'm more than happy with the nut hatch they've uh, they come really close on the feeders and all I'm trying to do now is get some pictures of them away from the feeders. So basically they're landing on some branches and then going to the feeders. I'm trying to get some pictures before they get to the feeders uh, because obviously it, it's more of a natural photograph. Well, I've come to the end. I've been here about three hours. I haven't seen a great deal, but what I have seen, I've enjoyed. Uh, the nut hatch especially. I've, I don't think I've ever been this close to uh, nut hatches. I hope the pictures turn out okay. I've had to use a high ISO setting, uh, 3200, basically because I'm in a wood and the canopy is quite full. And it's not a very bright day it's quite cloudy so the the sunshine hasn't been able to get through so basically that's forced me to use a high iso setting but uh, we'll see what we can do with the pictures i always shoot in raw so once i've developed them they should be a bit cleaner uh, and basically i'll show you the pictures